Welcome. This tutorial is going to show you how to use CCleaner from Pureform to wipe a hard drive. The very first thing you need to do is go to Pureform.com, then look for the CCleaner, click the download button, and you're going to have three choices, free, professional, and business. Now everything that we're ever going to need to do, we can do with the free version, so click on Pureform.com. Your download is going to start automatically. There it goes. And because the file is less than four megabytes in size, it doesn't take very long to download. Then we're going to double click on it to install it. Click on yes when the UAC pops up on your screen. You're going to be given your language selection. Choose your language. Click OK. Then next, agree to the license agreement. Leave all of these buttons checked and click install. We're going to uncheck the view release notes but leave the run button checked. Click finish and the program is going to open. Now CCleaner does a lot of different things but the only thing that we're going to deal with in this tutorial is the drive wipe function. So go down to tools and click it click drive wiper and you're going to see free space and entire drive now the difference between the two is that free space only means that if you have a hundred gig hard drive with forty gigs of data on it it's only going to overwrite those sixty gigs of free space on that drive leaving your other data intact so if you're getting rid of your hard drive selling your computer or just want to make sure that all your data is securely erased this is not the option that you want you want to choose entire drive all data will be erased now make sure that whatever you want off that drive is off of it because once we finish our process there's no way you're going to get your information back off of there so under the security we have simple overwrite single pass now basically what we have set up right here is what we call a low level format or a full format. Now if you go into your computer and right click on a hard drive and click format, if you choose quick format, this is not the same thing as a quick format. A quick format only puts a zero at the beginning of the drive and tricks your computer into believing that it's empty when it really isn't. Your data is still on there. It, the computer just thinks that it's blank. But a full format or a low level format is a single pass over every single block on your computer where it puts a zero on every block to make sure that the data has been overwritten. Now I have seen there are some programs that can still pull data off of a hard drive after a single pass. Uh, the data can be damaged but some of it you know you can still tell what some of the stuff is and sometimes it'll pull blocks of different uh, of a picture up here or a document from here and you can still retrieve some of that personal information so if you're getting rid of this hard drive or giving it to somebody else I don't recommend a single pass at a minimum I recommend three passes if you're paranoid seven passes you should never have to use 35 passes if you have something that requires 35 passes you might as well destroy the hard drive because not only is it going to take forever but obviously whatever's on there is so sensitive that you don't want anybody to get it why would you even take the chance of giving the hard drive away even after 35 passes so typically most people just use a three pass and you can't get any of the information off of that so I'm gonna leave it at three passes and I'm gonna click on my storage drive because that's the one that I want to erase completely and I'm gonna click wipe now it's gonna make sure that I verify that I really want to erase the stuff on the drive so you have to type erase then click OK and it's gonna start erasing that drive now this drive is only 160 gigs in size but you can see right here it's gonna take roughly almost two hours for it to to wipe it so if you had a 500 gig hard drive you're looking at about five hours and a one terabyte hard drive you're looking at ten hours on a on a three pass wipe so you're gonna have to adjust your times accordingly you may want to start this program at night and have it run during the evening when you go to bed that way it's finished when you get up and it's not running when you may need your computer during the day so that's how you wipe one of your drives and get all the information off if you're giving it away and I hope that the information I provided has been useful and if you'd like to check out more of our tutorials you can watch them on our ByteFix Computers YouTube channel thank you for watching